Okay. This is the uh, the way I make my own um, animal feeds. There, um, this is for pigs and for chicken is a different, a little bit different, and uh, for other animals, every 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 feeds that I make is different. For now, this is just for my pigs. I have six pigs right now, and this is better than to buy a premix feeds. Because yesterday when I went to tractor supply, the uh, hog feeds or, or pig feeds cost like $16.49 plus tax, it will cost me around $18. So by making this kind of feeds is a lot cheaper. On my calculation, this will cost about six to seven dollars so it's better to do like this and the pigs like this and they eat everything that i gave them and as i said um this is like a trial and error by the way as long as it works to the pigs whatever works i will do it because that's the way we're supposed to be not keep on investing and making no money. This way, I'm sure that a little bit at a time, I will make money. And this is the start of my uh, small investment for, for my pigs. Um, as you see before on my uh, uh, previous video, I have six pigs. Now I have to start on the ingredients. This is uh, some people call this sorghum, but in in farmers' uh, supply or co-op they call this millet or millet. Uh, okay, one part of this millet. Okay, one part of wheat. Okay, one part of wheat. Now, this one is an animal feed, which is 24%. I use, there is 16%, but I use the 24% because the other ingredients are like crude, meaning raw, raw materials. And this is in pellet forms. The other one that I buy after this is in crumbs now this one is the crack corn crack corn when you buy for some reason they raise the price before the crack corn is five dollars for 50 pounds now it's five dollars for 40 pounds so, okay, now, the measuring part, one part of millet, one part of uh, wheat, one part of the 16% peas, and three parts of corn, that's how I make it. Okay, here, three parts. Now, this is the number 10 can of ketchup so this is the one that i'm using because this one is perfect for the corn the 40 pound corn makes nine of this ketchup can so anyway i mixed it just like that and then on the other side Mix it again. And then one more time. And that's it. Okay. 
Now, I put it in this big bin. And then measure again. Okay, I can do it this way. One. One of the millet. One of the 16% pellets. Then, again, one of the crack corn, and then the wheat. And then again, the crack corn. Then mix it by hand. I know a lot of people will say why I'm doing this. This is hard. Well, if you want, if you are in an area that is that everything is expensive, you have to do this to save money. Okay, now it's done. Put it again in the big bin. Now again. One part of corn. One part of millet. One part of corn again. One part of 16%. One part of wheat. The last one. This one part of corn again. the 40 pounds of crack corn is perfect for the whole thing because the base of these pigs homemade pigs is corn Put it back here. Now see. Okay. The whole bag of corn is perfect for the the whole the whole bag of corn is perfect for this bean, which they said. This is the capacity of this is 17 gallons or 80 pounds of pigs. Now this last to my pigs for the six for about 10 days. And the next big deal is how much I put or I give to my pigs 
uh, to my pigs these pigs twice a day because I feed them twice a day all right I'll see I'll see you next time okay the next video is about how much do I have to give them every morning and in and every afternoon and what I gave them in between their meals okay now uh, I'll see you next time